moved originally from the Philippines. I moved here to the country about 23 years ago to create a better life uh, for my children. And it's been quite the journey to bring them here. The children, my kids, my two children are all grown up now and uh, they've done really well. One is in the military and another one works for a great company in Fredericton. So they've done really, really well. I'm originally from Uganda, East Africa, uh, in Africa. Many people from St. John and New Brunswick and uh, the Diocese of Fredericton have been helping children in Uganda. And I was touched by that kind of love and compassion. And I felt like, well, I have been here in Uganda and I see we are receiving love and compassion from these people. I need to go and be there and also learn something from such environment. I grew up in St. Andrews, um, spent uh, you know, my, my formative years uh, in town. Um, for high school, I was in St. John, and then for a university, uh, Fredericton, and then Halifax, and then my career took me to Toronto. And uh, recently, in the last few years, I've been able to move back. It's just one of the most beautiful places I think I can think of. And, you know, when you spend your childhood in a place, it sort of, you know, lodges an anchor in your mind, and, and you always want to get back to that place. Uh, I moved here like three years ago, and because my parents bought a business here so we moved here there's a lot of Vietnamese here they don't know English so they have a hard time to communicate in the hospital and so I would like to study that as far as I can help them is in case they need to go to the hospital and yet yeah, some many other Vietnamese who also don't know English might be need help with the hospital too Born and raised right here in, in St. Stephen, born in the Charlotte County Hospital. I've always been a homebody. Uh, I've never really had the ambition to move away. And uh, knock on wood, I've always been employed here in Charlotte County and never had, never had to move away for work, which is good. Uh, I know not everybody is that uh, has that ability. March. 2020, oh my goodness, it rolled around and uh, we had a few neighbors that were coming from, from the U.S. and they needed to be picked up at the airport and we did that and made sure that they had groceries delivered to them while they had to go through the 14-day quarantine. It really, that, that sense of community and making sure that everybody's doing well on okay. You know, it's almost like when it's having that family spirit. When we arrived, we didn't know it was going to be as cold as it was. So we all arrived in our open shoes and uh, simple shirts and we didn't have jackets or sweaters. And, uh, and, and getting out of the plane, of course, St. John, you just get out of the plane and you walk right into the building. It wasn't easy. It wasn't fun. Fortunately, we found people waiting for us with a... Uh, uh, warm clothes, jackets, and uh, and some of them actually gave us their shoes. <laughs> they removed the shoes and gave them to us, and and that's how we survived. But it wasn't easy. When we arrived here, we had never seen anyone, but when we came in, it was like we had been living with these people, and and that love has not changed up to now. I remember when we came in, I told you it was uh, it was still winter, much as we thought. By March it would have ended, but it was still winter, it was cold, we didn't have a car, we didn't know places, but people would offer to come and drive us to everywhere we wanted to go. And, uh, and they brought in food into the house and they have never stopped up to now. Can you imagine three years almost after, <laughs> since that time, we are still receiving food from the people and they have not changed. The kind of love we saw right from that time is the same love we are still experiencing right now. You really get that sense of, uh, of neighborliness, of, of, of pitching in together, of, of a cohesive unit. I've had an opportunity to work with uh, a, a lot of great people, both uh, who reported to me and both I reported to. And regardless of where your career takes you, you find this close knit group of people who are always rooting for you. I think, um, you know, I've, I've changed careers once in the time that I've been here and still have uh, a lot of people I consider quite close to me from my previous career. 
um, who are always, you know, you know, checking in with you, making sure that you're doing okay, and, and, and really curious about how and what direction life is taking you. And then, in turn, it's the same thing for me. You know, I'm always uh, connected to those people, and there is a there is a great support network here and a great community of people. The people is really nice here. So, like, just for example, like working at the restaurant, because the people here they, they might know that we don't know the laws here. So when something changed during the pandemic, they will like just call us and tell us what we're supposed to do. So that was like a really good support from them. So we do our radiothon every year, and it just blows my mind the amount of generosity in this community. Uh, to raise around hundred thousand dollars in twelve hours is amazing. And uh, this past year was a little lower on the count of COVID, but last year we raised over $102,000 in just 12 hours. So that's amazing. We just had our toy drive in the community a, a week or so ago. We completely filled a van. Actually, we overfilled the van because we had to get a truck to haul away the excess toys. So and those toys are being spread out throughout different organizations throughout the county. So everybody is very generous right now.